English mini lesson number five. The topic of our lesson is Mother's Day. Here are the main objectives. To increase your knowledge about American family life and to develop your ability to listen for specific information. Listening task one. Watch the video clip. Try to learn the answer to the following question. When do Americans celebrate Mother's Day? You may find it helpful to watch the video clip more than once. Americans celebrate Mother's Day in May. It's on the second Sunday of the month. This is the day we celebrate the women who raised us, cared for us, and inspired us. Can you complete this statement? Answer. Americans celebrate Mother's Day in May. It's on the second Sunday of the month. Listening task two. Watch the video clip. Try to learn the answers to the following questions. 1. How do most Americans address their mothers? 2. Who uses mommy? What do we call our mothers? Well, most Americans simply address their mothers as mom. Some have a more formal relationship, and so they say mother. And yet, in some families, you may hear mama or ma. Small children usually say mommy. Can you complete this statement? Answer. Most Americans address their mothers as mom. Small children usually say mommy. Listening task three. Watch the video clip. Try to learn the answers to the following questions. One. Traditionally, who is the head of the household? The one who makes important decisions and or earns the money. Two. According to Jennifer, what is one reason why there are so many working mothers today? Now traditionally, it's the mother who stays home with the children, and the father is the head of the household. If this is the case, we call the mother a stay-at-home mom. But this isn't always the case, especially today when two incomes are needed in a family. And when a mother has a job outside the home, we call her a working mother. Can you complete this statement? Answer. Traditionally, the mother cares for the children, and the father is the head of the household. However, today many families need two incomes, so both parents work outside the home. Listening Task 4. Watch the video clip. Try to learn the answer to the following question. What does single mother or single mom mean? Now motherhood certainly isn't easy, and some moms face an additional challenge because they're raising their children on their own without the support of a father. We call these moms single moms. Can you complete this statement? Answer. Single mothers face the challenge of raising their children without the support of the fathers. Listening Task 5. Now watch the entire video clip. Recall the meaning of these words and expressions. Stay-at-home mother. Working mother. Single mother. Head of the household. Income. Americans celebrate Mother's Day in May. It's on the second Sunday of the month. This is the day we celebrate the women who raised us, cared for us, and inspired us. What do we call our mothers? Well, most Americans simply address their mothers as mom. Some have a more formal relationship, and so they say mother. And yet, in some families, you may hear mama or ma. Small children usually say mommy. Now traditionally, it's the mother who stays home with the children, and the father is the head of the household. If this is the case, we call the mother a stay-at-home mom. But this isn't always the case, especially today when two incomes are needed in a family. And when a mother has a job outside the home, we call her a working mother. Now motherhood certainly isn't easy, and some moms face an additional challenge because they're raising their children on their own without the support of a father. We call these moms single moms. In short, there are all kinds of mothers. Single moms, working moms, stay-at-home moms. All of them deserve to be celebrated, and that's why we have the holiday of Mother's Day. Thanks for watching. Happy studies to you all. And to all the mothers watching, happy Mother's Day.